Maya, a wisp of a girl with eyes as bright as fireflies, was never fond of sitting still. The confines of the classroom felt like cages to her wild spirit. Numbers danced on the page like gibberish, letters refused to form constellations of meaning. Frustration gnawed at her, a constant ache in her little chest. One afternoon, during yet another struggle with arithmetic, Maya couldn't hold it in anymore. She bolted, leaving behind the droning voice of the teacher and the confused stares of her. Classmates Seeking solace, she scrambled up the familiar oak tree behind the school, her nimble legs carrying her past gnarled branches and thick leaves, reaching her perch, a nest of sunlight amongst the emerald canopy, Maya felt a familiar calm wash over her. The wind whispered secrets in the leaves, birds sang their melodious tunes, and squirrels chased each other in a flurry of playful chaos. It was here, amidst the vibrant symphony of nature, that Maya felt truly alive, as she gazed at a ladybug crawling on a leaf, its tiny black spots contrasting against the vibrant green, an idea flickered like a firefly in the twilight of her mind. She grabbed a fallen twig and carefully traced imaginary numbers onto the leaf, mimicking the ladybug's spots. Suddenly, numbers weren't abstract symbols anymore. They were dots, like stepping stones leading to an unknown adventure. The next day, armed with a handful of fallen leaves and twigs, Maya approached her teacher, Miss Willow, a woman. With gentle eyes and a kind smile, Miss Willow watched, intrigued, as Maya laid out her makeshift learning tools. These are my number leaves, Maya explained, her voice soft but filled with excitement. Each spot is a number, and I can count and add them just like the ladybug spots, Miss Willow, recognizing the spark of learning in Maya's eyes, didn't dismiss her unconventional approach. Instead, she encouraged it. Together, they explored the world of numbers through the lens of nature. They counted petals on blooming flowers, leaves on swaying branches, and chirps of playful birds. Maya thrived in this new way of learning. Numbers became tangible, relatable, and most importantly, fun. News of Maya's unique learning methods spread through the school, sparking curiosity and whispers of wonder. Soon, classmates started gathering by the oak tree, eager to join in Maya's lessons. Ms. Willow incorporated natural elements into her teaching, using pebbles, feathers, and pine cones as manipal. Manipulatives, transforming the classroom into a miniature forest of knowledge, the once restless Maya became a beacon of learning, guiding her peers on a journey of discovery. She learned that learning wasn't confined to dusty textbooks and rigid structures. It blossomed in the rustling leaves, in the buzzing of bees, in the intricate patterns of a spider web. The forest had become her classroom, and curiosity her most potent teacher. As days turned into weeks, Maya's confidence soared. The letters that once seemed like jumbled lines morphed into words, stories, and poems, inspired by the rustling leaves and the chirping birds. The world wasn't just a playground for her boundless energy, it was a treasure trove of knowledge waiting to be unearthed. One sunny afternoon, Miss Willow led the class on a nature walk. Reaching a clearing, they found a magnificent butterfly, its wings painted with intricate patterns in a kaleidoscope of colors. As Maya admired its beauty, Miss Willow asked, What do you see, Maya? Looking at the butterfly, Maya didn't hesitate. I see numbers, she said, her eyes sparkling, the number of spots on its wings, the lines on its patterns, even the number of times it flaps its wings. The whole world is full of numbers, waiting to be discovered. Her classmates, inspired by her enthusiasm, started pointing out numbers they saw in the leaves, the pebbles, the clouds. Miss Willow smiled, knowing that Maya had unlocked a door not just to knowledge.
Letters that once seemed like jumbled lines morphed into words, stories, and poems inspired by the rustling leaves and the chirping birds. The world wasn't just a playground for her boundless energy, it was a treasure trove of knowledge waiting to be unearthed. One sunny afternoon, Miss Willow led the class on a nature walk. Reaching a clearing, they found a magnificent butterfly, its wings painted with intricate patterns in a kaleidoscope of colors. As Maya admired its beauty, Miss Willow. But to a deeper connection with the world around them, Maya's journey of learning had begun under the shade of an oak tree, fueled by her curiosity and nurtured by the boundless generosity of nature. It wasn't just about numbers or letters, it was about opening their hearts and minds to the magic that unfolded around them, proving that sometimes, the best classrooms are the ones with open skies and boundless possibilities. As the children wandered through the sun-dappled clearing, laughter echoing through the trees, Maya knew that the world was her classroom, and there was a lifetime of learning waiting to be explored, one fascinating discovery at a time. As the children wandered through the sun-dappled clearing, laughter echoing through the trees, Maya knew that the world was her classroom, and there was a lifetime of learning waiting to be explored, one fascinating discovery at a time. Manipulatives, transforming the classroom into a miniature forest of knowledge, the once restless Maya became a beacon of learning, guiding her peers on a journey of discovery. She learned that learning wasn't confined to dusty textbooks and rigid structures. It blossomed in the rustling